Tasha Reed lives in the Avon River Valley in Nova Scotia. She says her experience living in the country and observing the plants and animals around her has steered her towards her current subject matter. She frequently creates pieces inspired by her environment, such as felted landscapes and sown owls, cats, and foxes. Tasha says she was influenced by her grandmother, who was always knitting, quilting, or sewing. Tasha's grandmother constantly collected arts and crafts supplies. Tasha has adopted this habit and frequently searches through Frenchies and other thrift stores for wool sweaters and other clothing she can refurbish. Tasha's partner once approached her with an old sweater he had shrunk, asking if she could do anything with it. Tasha remembered some toys from her childhood, a camel and a bunny. As a kid, she used to observe them, trying to figure out how they were made. She always thought one day she would make some animals like this herself. So she transformed the sweater into a bunny and a camel, and next she made her first owl. People loved these new critters, so she continued making them. To stay spontaneous and prevent soreness from repetitive motions, Tasha always has multiple projects happening at once. Throughout her day, she switches from rug hooking to needle felting to creating animals. Along her animal production line, Tasha always has multiple animals in different stages, so she can switch from sewing to stuffing and needle felting. Needle felting and avocado. Separate your fibers. Roll fibers into a ball. Stab fibers into a sphere for the pit. More needles speeds up the process. Or you can use a tool with multiple needles. Keep adding fibers until avocado pit is desired size. Stab until your avocado pit is as firm as desired. Add green fibers for inside of avocado. Loosening the fibers helps them adhere. Keep adding fibers until you get your desired shape and size. Keep stabbing until quite firm so that the shape does not shift when the next layer is added. Add dark green for avocado skin. Flatten the front. Tidy the edges.
an avocado.